Well, hello and welcome to the final part of our look at the vintage uh, Star Wars action figures. Now, this last batch are called the Power of the Force figures um, in Britain, the last 15 or last 16 figures. And um, we only have a few of these to get through. So um, without further ado, then here is number one, which is a man -a man Now, certainly one of the most awkward looking figures ever um who'd have thought that this would be uh one of the rarer ones but he is i mean all of these last 15 figures um have become quite sought after now um certainly because um by now the range had um you know star wars had peaked in popularity and it was just sort of chugging along shall we say um and a man of man is one of those ones in fact all of these are, are scarce simply because they just don't seem to be around in, in greater numbers than the earlier figures which were obviously produced for a lot longer period of time so don't forget with this one do look out for the staff um my one's ever so slightly bent um but my carded one is far far more bent so uh uh an unusual figure, often found without the uh, the staff, but still nice all the same. That's a man of man. Now I've got a nice easy figure. This one's really easy to find, Anakin Skywalker, um, with his mega flares. Uh, <laughs> not a bad figure. It's a really good likeness of, of Anakin at the end, um, in sort of not in his ghostly form, but you know, you get the idea. So nice easy figure to find that one, Anakin. Now this one is tricky to find. It's R2-D2 with his uh, pop-up lightsaber. So the hard bit is generally the lightsaber that's usually missing. Um, but a, a great figure all, all the same. Uh, make sure it, yours clicks if you can. And ideally, you know, hopefully it shouldn't have too much wear on the stickers. But, you know, any R2 figure is good. This one is perhaps the best that they did, in my opinion. Uh, now fantastic figure i absolutely love this one which is the a-wing pilot um, you might notice that i've got a little bit of blue tack just to keep their weapons in these later figures never seem to hold their weapons too good um i absolutely love the a-wing i actually wish i had the toy it's one i never got and i never got um got one uh you know when you could actually afford one but there's the a-wing pilot he's a cracking figure that absolutely fantastic far prefer that one to the uh the much more common b-wing pilot then we've got brada one of those ones uh on Jabra's sail barge, never been a huge fan of these uh, these figures, um, but it is what it is, I suppose. This particular one, you see how the plastics aged there and yellowed, so I'm going to have to try and find um, a better one of that um, if I can, if I get the opportunity. Thankfully, he's not too expensive. Unlike this little fella, our EV99, very expensive to find. Um, often found with a missing limb or two, um, uh, a cracking, cracking figure, obviously absolutely essential to the, uh, to the range if you're a loose collector and, um, yeah, it's a great, great figure, but, um, often found, uh, often found damaged or bent, uh, cause of his sheer, sheer size. CV 99. Then we got Han Solo in carbonite. So, uh, the famous, uh, famous scene with Han uh, encased in carbonite in Jabba's throne room. Um, the actual figure fits nicely into the back there. Might save you a bit of space in your display case. But a nice little figure that. Um, the Han Solo. Will he stand up? There we go. Brilliant. So it's Han Solo. Now the next one is the Imperial Dignitary. Now this is, can be a tough figure to find. Um, I remember looking for a long, long time to find one without a little dot missing on the end of his nose. And you can see this one's absolutely perfect. Once again, he's got the mega return of the Jedi flares. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice figure that. Um, but very, very, very tough to find without that, uh, that little dink on his nose. It took me ages to find one uh, in perfect condition. Next one, perhaps one of my, it probably is my favourite of all the Imperial um, characters, and that's the um, Imperial Gunner. Now, um, once again, he's got that very tiny little rifle. What a well-designed figure this is. Really, really fantastic. And uh, a fairly tough figure to find. Look out for a little bit of wear on his shoulders there. Um, yeah, a pretty tough figure to find, that, the old uh, Gunner. But uh, well worth the effort of tracking, tracking him down. 
The next one we've got is uh, Lando Calrissian in his general pilot outfit. Now, in my opinion, this figure is the best of all the Landos that was produced. Um, and he just looks fantastic. Even the cape is one of the best capes that was ever produced for the vintage line. Um, so this this comes recommended. I certainly uh, certainly do like this Lando figure. It's perhaps the best one of all. Um, got the little palace guard gun there. This only came with a few figures, and uh, it's uh, quite a tough gun to track down. That one. Well, that's Lando. Then we've got Luke Skywalker, and this is Luke in his Endor, um, in his Endor outfit towards the end of Return of the Jedi. He also comes with the Imperial Palace guard gun. Not a bad figure, but you know, unlike the Leia, they didn't give him a removable helmet, although he had the removable poncho. But maybe they could have done that. Next, fantastic figure, Luke in his Stormtrooper disguise. Certainly one of the best, if not the best, uh, Luke figures, perhaps uh, even better than the Luke farm boy. Phenomenal figure. Um, just a shame they never did Han in his uh, in his Stormtrooper disguise as well. But what a fantastic uh, figure that one is. Then we've got a couple of Ewoks. We've got uh, Romba. Well, you know my... You know my feeling about the Ewoks, they are what they are. I, I'm not going to dwell, but these last little bits, the Romba's hat and this cane and that, um, these can be really scarce little items to find and extremely annoying for collectors trying to finish their runs. This is Lumat. Uh, Lumat's got a very particular bow, which is also super rare. Um, so you might have an issue with these. Um, and then very finally, uh, the most, I guess, famous of all the last Power of the Force figures is uh, Yak Face. And uh, here he is in all his glory. Uh, fun little figure, but <laughs> I think a little bit overrated. But hey, who am I to say? Who am I to say? So there we are. That concludes our look at these uh, last 16 Power of the Force Star Wars figures. I hope you've enjoyed uh, going through the series as much as I have. Um, please don't forget, do leave this video uh, a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe if you're not already uh, for regular Star Wars content. I'm having unboxing every other Friday and uh, on the other Fridays I'm going to be doing just general vintage Star Wars content such as this. So uh, thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>